everybody. Happy New Year. It's the new year. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really excited. It's a new year, new decade. Looking forward to seeing what this year brings. So this is Anna, MAPS Coaching, ISA MAPS Coaching specifically. You can learn more at isamapscoaching.com. All right, today we're gonna to talk expired call strategies. So hopefully you got a whole bucket load of expires on January 1st. Huge opportunity to help the community that you live in. And we're gonna to talk today about what does the follow-up look like. I find a lot of people have a solid strategy for that first day, second day, maybe the third day, and things kind of dwindle off, especially after that first week. So what does that look like? So first of all, we know through research that if you call at least six times, you have a 90% chance of actually getting them to pick up the phone and make contact. So think back, those new expireds you got, really any lead, have you called them at least six times? If not, you're missing an opportunity. So go back and make sure you get them at least six times. During those six calls, you're going to leave a series of five voicemails. So your first voicemail is gonna be somewhat general. It might sound something like, hey, this is Anna from the Horror Group, Keller Williams. Uh, call me back today. I'm curious if your home is still available. My number is blah, blah, blah. Call me today by five. So the magic in a voicemail is make sure you identify where you're calling from, peak curiosity, and then give a specific time window to call you back. So it's not if you get a chance, it's call me back today by five. That's going to give you a higher return on your calls. Okay, voicemails two, three, and four, you're gonna leave a value add. So think through what do you know about your team that would appeal to sellers? So maybe you have a really good days on market average. Perhaps you get through negotiation a higher percentage of list price compared to other realtors in the area. Maybe it's your customer rating. Whatever it is, you're gonna pick three different value adds that would appeal to the seller population and those are gonna be your voicemails two, three, and four. Your fifth voicemail is gonna be something like, hey, this is Anna, <laughs> I've left you a whole bunch of messages. I don't know if you're busy or perhaps not interested. Would you just call and let me know either way? I don't wanna pester you, yet I do wanna help you. So call me back today and let me know either way. My number is blah, 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 call me by five. And that, that one actually usually gets a good amount of callbacks. So typically the first week, you're gonna leave this series of six voicemails. And again, that should earn you a 90% callback rate. But what do you do after that first week, right? Well, a lot of realtors don't continue to call, especially after that first week. So what we recommend is you then move to a once or twice a week call for the next month, and then eventually move them to once a month. And if you have their email, go ahead and put them on an email campaign. And through all these different strategies, you'll be the one that sticks out. I remember very clearly someone called me about three months after they expired, and they left me a voicemail and said, you know, hey, you may not remember me, but a couple months ago my home expired and you were the only person that consistently called me, so you have the listing, call me back and let's get it on the market. The only reason that they knew that was I had left the voicemails. I am sure I am not the only realtor that called them. Yeah, I think I was the only one that had a strategy to my voicemails. So there you go, voicemail one, leave it general. Voicemail two, three, and four, leave some type of value add with a specific time to call me back. Again, that could sound like we usually sell homes two times faster than our, our other realtors in the area. Call me today by five and I'll tell you how we do that. And then your fifth voicemail, you're gonna make it call me back, not sure what's up. All right guys, let me know how this works for you. Typically you'll start to get callbacks around that fourth to fifth voicemail. So make sure you stay consistent, that's where the key is. All right guys, have a great day and check us out at isamapscoaching.com. There's a lot more to learn and that's where you'll find it. All right guys, have a great day, bye.